Hey everybody, this is Colin at Pacific Northwest Garden Supply. We are here with Peter from Harvest Miracle. We're doing a little uh, feature product promotion here today going over this uh, new biostimulant uh, that they are bringing to market. So this is a foliar and root drench uh, nutrient that you can use on all sorts of crops. Uh, helps to ward off pests and promote general plant health. We're really pleased to bring this new product uh, to market. It's based on 20 years of scientific research. And we've spent the last year and a half just testing this on certain plants that licensed producers and micro cultivators uh, yep. like to grow. Plants need copper and mm. plants are copper deficient. And once that deficiency is met, it helps the plant release natural enzymes for the rapid uptake of all nutrients like iron and calcium and manganese. In using a liquid, natural, organic copper like Harvest Miracle, you really can unlock the plant's ability mm -hmm. to really uptake those nutrients that you're feeding the plants, yeah. and you'll get up to a 25% increase in yield. So overall plant health, increase in yield, and then acts as a natural defense against, as you said, things like powdery mildew. Yeah, a pretty uh, wide variety of pests and, and fungus. Spider mites like and yeah. yeah funguses, bacteria, yeah, Kind of the common ones to get yeah. in your uh, crops and things. Yeah. yeah, and there's two ways that a plant could really uptake copper, through the roots, so obviously with a root drench, mm -hmm. uh, or through foliar spraying of the leaves. And so we recommend you do both. As a foliar, uh, we would recommend you foliar spray once per week. Okay. If you did have an outbreak on the back here, we have a label on, on mixing instructions because this is a concentrated product. If you did have an outbreak, let's say of something like powdery mildew, probably go to the, the, the top dosage here and you might spray every three or four days until you get that outbreak under control. But that we would continue to spray on a, on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then even using the higher concentrations, no, there's no risk of damage to the plants or burning or mm -hmm. anything like that. Yeah, so in our scientific research and testing uh, that we've done, uh, we've tried to lethally dose copper on plants. The interesting thing about plants and copper is that the plant will not uptake more copper than it requires. So you cannot give the plant more copper. And when you do, let's say, lethally dose uh, your leaves with copper, uh, it will stress the plant. Mm -hmm. The leaves will burn, the leaves will curl. And we've seen still a 23% increase in flower over control yes even with a completely stressed out plant that's good yeah, yeah. so that's it's excellent. and we've tested everything scientifically we've, we've done leaf samples we've done our testing here in uh, Vancouver okay. at Anandia Labs and we also partnered with uh, two of the leading geneticists uh, at the uh, University of Lethbridge. We do all our testing at the University of Lethbridge as well. Okay. So and I know we've also been doing a little kind of in-house testing through uh, David Robinson at our Nelson That's store right. has been helping out with this as well. David's been a huge supporter. We've learned so much from David. Uh, he's literally written the book on cannabis. He's literally written the book, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, David was so kind uh, to give us a quote. He said, where has this product been for 25 years? Mm -hmm. So he's never seen a, a cleaner, more natural copper uh, ever and he's literally gone in and, and, and has saved gross yeah. from uh from no, that's demise. A pretty, that's a pretty good vote of confidence coming yeah. from him, I would think, yeah. yeah. Well, in the Pacific Northwest in particular, this is a useful sort of product to have because powdery mildew is a fairly common sort of irritating pest kind of thing to get around here. Indoor growing, maybe not quite as much of a problem because it's, you know, easy to control your environment, but outdoor, especially, you know, close to the coast and everything here, it, it gets fairly humid and fairly wet, so. Yeah. Even indoors, it's a, it's a major problem. Once it you is, get yeah. powdery mildew and you get powdery mildew spore, it's, very tricky it's, to get rid of it's it. hard to get rid of. Yeah. The interesting thing about Harvest Miracle is that the copper will actually penetrate the powdery mildew spore okay. and kill the spore so you can really end that cycle. Okay. Um, things like hydrogen peroxide and bleach don't actually kill the spore and so those spores can live and come back to coming back some more yeah exactly and we were talking earlier you mentioned that this stuff um, you can use it as a spray like as a direct foliar spray but you can also use it in misters and foggers and through that's right um, vaporized uh, hvac systems and things like that correct yeah, yeah. so if we're, if we're getting up into the micro cultivators and things like that there are maybe more efficient ways they can apply rather than just spraying yeah. like hands on like that yeah. and 100 percent of the copper in here is bioavailable okay and and maybe what's also interesting is that when you apply this to grow mediums and if there's other natural minerals or elements in the grow medium that is currently not bioavailable to the plant, mm -hmm. the ionic copper will actually make those other elements bioavailable. Okay. So you can actually turn on other elements and minerals and nutrients within soils or grow, grow mediums. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. 
So why don't we uh, mix up a little bit here yeah, and we'll perfect. go do a, uh, a test spray on some of the plants. So I'm just gonna grab, here. this is a concentrated amount. Uh, on the back of the label, it clearly indicates the uh, different seedling, vegetative, and flowering stages of the plant and different dosages uh, based on that. Uh, for a foliar spray, we're gonna just mix 12 and a half mils uh, per liter. And so 12 and a half mils. There we are. That's 12 and a half right there. So we're just gonna mix 12 and a half into a liter. And it's very aqueous. It, it'll automatically disperse within the, within the water. And then we're just gonna go ahead and fill up our, our hand spray bottle. And then we're off to the races. So we can go ahead and start spraying some plants. There you go. All right, let's go, go have some fun. Okay, so here we have our mix. This is 25 parts per million, so 12 and a half mil per liter of water of the Harvest Miracle. Uh, we have a variety of different peppers and stuff that we are growing in our showroom here. These are all pretty healthy in the first place, but we're gonna douse these things pretty good and kind of see what goes on. Um, so as with any spring, you wanna make sure you're doing a nice, good, even layer. You don't want it drenched, but you know, you wanna have it kind of running off the leaf bit like that. Um, nice, even spray all the way across. Want to make sure you get all your plants. If you're doing something like spraying for um, spider mites or something like that, you may want to consider spraying the bottom sides of the leaves because a lot of times that's where they will lay their eggs. Uh, same thing with powdery mildew. It can go, come on uh, top and bottom of the leaves, um, branches and things like that. Um, it can spread pretty far. So. Um, I'm just kind of spraying across here, obviously with certain flowers and things like that, um, some kind of fruits, you don't always want to be spraying the fruits themselves, but uh, this is a natural copper based one, yep. so it's not really going to cause any And any it's organic? Or like that, yeah. It's actually a certified organic copper that we, uh, yeah. that we use in the product. Yeah. So again, this just is going to promote general plant health overall sort of thing. Absolutely. So it's going to boost general immune system of the whole plant. So that'll help fight off the, the pests and the PM and all that and like huge, huge big list of all the bugs and all that yep. sort of stuff. And the plant won't take in more copper than it needs. Right. So it's not like you could lethally dose a plant with copper. We've tried. Yeah. <laughs> and we've seen leaves burn. Just, just a little burn on, and, on And we've like seen that. the yeah. leaves curl yeah. and we could see a plant completely uh, stressed out by giving it lethal amounts of copper. Uh, but really, we, we, we've seen a 23% yield increase, even with loath, lethally dosed copper yes. on, uh, on the plants. And so, it still shows up good. Yeah, over, over the control, so. Excellent, yeah, so this stuff is good for any, generally any sort of plant. I mean, if you're growing uh, fruit or production crops or anything like that, I mean, you could use it on your house plants, you could use it on your garden, any um, licensed producers or microcultivators who are growing probably any sort of plant really could use this sort of stuff. Um, and it would be good for same same basic uh, controls across the board. Yes, yeah. One other thing that I wanted to ask you about is if, because you can use this as a foliar spray or as a root drench. So Correct. when would you apply foliar or, or in, in say a hydroponic system or something like that? How, how would the application so differ? So we would, we would recommend that you do both. Okay. And the application rates are on the back of the bottle. Okay. Uh, but generally speaking, it's a half a mil per liter for hydro. Mm -hmm. And uh, you could, uh, you know, some people have different methodologies on growing. Yes, yeah. Some feed and then water and feed and water and-, and uh, Some and feed all the way through. Some yeah, feed all the way through. You, there, you can yeah. add this to the feed and the water. So you can literally start this at seedling stage and go right straight through to harvest. And uh, again- and do, as you a, need, do you need to flush this out at the end to all your other nutrients you'll lay off for the last couple right. of weeks? Do you need to do that with this one? You don't. No? Okay. You, know, you don't. It's a, it's a very, very clean, natural, organic copper okay. and uh, won't affect taste, smell, uh, won't have any toxicity won't whatsoever. Show up in the end product, okay. Yeah, and we actually have some organic growers in the Kootenays who use beneficials. So, one thing that you may consider is that if, you know, copper doesn't just so it's going to kill the good and the bad. Uh, so you may not want to use this uh, as a soil drench okay. uh, if you're using beneficials. But we do have some growers in the Kootenays who are organic growers yeah. using beneficials throughout their grow. And they were constantly failing their Health Canada microbial tests at the end. So what they were doing is spraying with Harvest Miracle two or three applications just before harvest, okay. knocking all the microbials down and they passed their Health Canada microbial tests. Good. So that's a 
is really beneficial for them. Interesting. Yeah. And so you would use this at a higher concentration for a foliar spray than you would for a Yeah, so again, on the back here, we have a, a dosing all chart the all, the, all the way yeah. through. And again, this is a preventative uh, recommendation. Mm -hmm. And so if you did have an outbreak or you did have a powdery mildew or you spider mite infestation, you, can go to a higher you, would, you would go to the highest dose yes. here and you might even, as opposed to spraying weekly, you'd spray every sort of three or four days until you get, let's say, powdery mildew under control. Uh, again, the mites, mm -hmm. you'll see an immediate uh, knockdown in the mites, okay. uh, especially at the larva and the babies right. are, are are so the earlier on you can start to apply this to your plants, the, the better off they're going to be. Absolutely. The, the healthier, yeah. the stronger, you know, the better chance for that uh, higher yeah. yield at the end. Yeah. Plant health. So if you use it as a preventative, it's great for plant health, okay. yield increase, yeah. and a natural defense against things like powdery okay. mildew and, and spider mites. Kind of across the board for everything, yeah. So whether you are a production grower or a hobby farmer or whatever you're trying to grow, be it uh, you know tomatoes or peppers or houseplants or you know micro cultivation, any of that sort of stuff, this is an excellent product to use. Uh, help your plant health across the board, help your yields across the board. Uh, and again, this is all available through Pacific Northwest Garden Supply, either in store or online. Also available through Green Planet Wholesale, through other retailers across the country. Um, so go out and try and find it and you know hopefully get those yields up. Thank you.